Howdy folks, it's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, making another video for you out of Boise, Idaho. Um, today I would like to show you a method that I was taught uh, on how to remove U-joints out of a drive shaft. And I feel that and think that once you learn this method, you will never ever use another method again. Uh, you don't need a press, you don't need an air hammer, you don't need anything majorly special other than some propane or map gas and a hammer okay and what we're gonna do now this is a drive shaft out of the Jeep that I'm replacing the transmission on alright and so what we're gonna do is these U joints have a plastic pin inside of them I'm gonna tell you something and unless you get that plastic pin out you'll never get this U joint out so whenever you see this plastic piece right here know that you're gonna have to use heat to get this u-joint out alright but even if you don't have this plastic pin you can still use heat and heat it up all around the crown here and get this u-joint out so uh, you can do this with two pieces of 2 by 4 I'm using a couple trailer hitches that I have get your u-joint set up and then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take your your map gas and heat it up and as it gets hot enough, you will see this plastic piece shoot out of there. Once that plastic piece kind of squirts out of there, then you're going to take your hammer and you're going to hit it right here. Don't hit it here because you could damage the drive shaft, all right? So you want to hit it right here. Just one good time, boom, 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 like so, and that will pop your U-joint your right out. It'll take all of 20 minutes to do this. So because I need to use the heat and the hammer and stuff, I'm going to pause it. I'm going to do my best to show you this process. Got my kiddo here. He's watching and learning. And as you heat this up, like I said, you'll see that plastic piece come out of there. You want to get it? It'll get back, it's hot. There it goes. I can start seeing it starting to bubble out of there. There it goes. There it comes. See? There you go. We'll work on the other side a little bit. Watch, that side will start squeezing out. You can see it already. And there it comes out. All right, so now we're good and hot. Let's see if I can do this one-handed and show you. I need both hands. 
Okay. And uh, once I... Uh, oh, let me turn the video around here. <laughs> Hold on a second. Sorry about that, guys. All right, and there you go. All it took was a matter of about three smacks with a hammer. Now it's really hot, so grab your pair of pliers. Pull that out of there. And now you're going to do the same for the other side. Let it cool off. Get it set up. Heat it up all around here. Set it up in, in, in between your, your two spots. And then smack it with a hammer. And it'll come right out of there. So, let's review. Get you some map gas or some propane. All right. And two by four or anything that you can set your your U joint up in, go ahead and heat it all around here, and then take your hammer and smack your drive shaft right there, and it'll smack that U joint right out for you. All together, this video is six minutes. The whole process took me all of about twenty minutes. I guarantee you, once you do this and master it, you'll never change your U joints in another way. All right, everybody. Well, this is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician. Please like, subscribe, and share the knowledge. Uh, if you have any questions, just sh uh, shoot them to me in the comments. I do my best to get back to everybody. Sometimes it may take me a couple weeks, though. Uh, sometimes I just don't see it. So, All right, everybody. Well, thanks for supporting me. Have a good day.